Welcome to Kendra's Artistic Crochet Designs. And this is Technique Tuesday, and today we are going to make square number 22 called the cross stitch square from our 63 easy to crochet pattern stitches combined to make an heirloom afghan by Darla Sims. All right, so we we're going to get started on this. We're going to learn how to do the cross stitch today. So we have our orange yarn. I'm still doing orange yarn. And um, we are going to um, chain 25. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five. So twenty five chains and we are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And we're going to single crochet in every chain after that, all the way across. So we're going to put one single crochet in each one of these chains. All right, so we've got single crochets. You should have 24 single crochets by the end of this row. So you should have 24 stitches. All right, so row two is um, we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet. We're going to chain three and turn. All right. All right, so we, because this counts as a double crochet, we're skipping this first stitch here. This first, these, this double crochet is coming out of that first stitch. So we're going to double crochet in the next stitch. Actually, we're skipping. Hang on. <laughs> we're going to double crochet. Since we're skipping this one, we're skipping two, right? We're going to double crochet in the third stitch because the first stitch, this double crochet is coming out of. Now, we're going to go back to the second stitch. See, we're going to go back and we're going to do a double crochet there. That forms an X. See? All 
I'm wondering. All right, I'm trying to see if I can get closer. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer so you could see this. All right, so now what you're going to do is we are going to put X's all the way across, right? Um... Yeah. So we're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and in the second stitch, you're going to put a double crochet. Then you're going to go back to the one that you skipped and get it, and that forms the X. So I don't know if you could see there. You can see that X right there. All right. So you're going to skip two. One, two. Put a double crochet in the second stitch. Where are we? There we are. And then let's go back to the one that we skipped and put a double crochet in there. All right. Let's do that again. Skip two. One, two. Put a double crochet in the second stitch, come back to the first stitch, and put a double crochet in there. And that's what's forming the um, cross. It's like, a, you know, it's in like an X or a cross. So skip two, and then come back to the first one, Skip two and go in the second one. Well, we're skipping one and going into the second one is what you're doing. Then going back to the first one. So we're not skipping two, sorry. You're skipping one and putting a double crochet in the second one. And then you're going back to the first one and put a double crochet in there. So double crochet in the second stitch and then come back to the first one and put a double crochet in there. And just keep going all the way across with these crosses. And when you get to the end, you have three stitches left. So skip one, go into the second one, make your cross, and in that last stitch, we're just going to put a double crochet in that last stitch. Because at the ends, we have the double crochet at this end, you've got to have a, have a double crochet at this end. Okay? And that's, that's what it looks like. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to, let's, let's, we're going to repeat that. So let's chain three and turn your work. Let me make sure I do this. Repeat row two and two. Yep. And we're just going to repeat the row, too. So what we're going to do is you've got this first stitch that we're skipping. You can't do anything in that stitch. Then we're going to go, you're going to, what you're going to do from the very beginning, you're going to go to the third stitch from over. We're going to, do, we're going to start our double crochet in that third stitch over. Then you're going to come back to the second stitch over and make your X. Okay, and that's how you start these out. Then you'll skip one, go into the second one. Just like we did the last row, you're repeating row two, and you just keep going. Because you're repeating row two, 
until your until your square measures however long this is so if this is seven inches you want to keep going until your square is seven inches okay so however long you know what this is here because everybody is different whenever they do their squares okay so however long this is you just keep going until you get to that um, length so we can make a perfect square so I'm gonna do mine off camera and I'll let you get yours and um, when um, I get finished and then I'll be back and show you how to do the border okay see you then okay so I wanted to tell you this back this up back this up there we go okay so it looks like this I've got seven and a half inches this way and seven and a half inches this way the only thing is we started with a single crochet row and I like to end with a single crochet row it doesn't tell you to do that but you can decide what you want so I'm going to chain one and turn and I'm going to put single crochets are across there pumpkin what are you doing there is miss pumpkin all right so we'll just do a single crochet row since there's one down here we'll put one up here and make it uniform so uniformity that's what I'm after here Alright, so here we need to make sure we put a single crochet at the top of that chain three at the end too. Because that chain three is a double crochet. Alright, so here we go. We've got we've got this done. There we go. That's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna cut this off short because I'm going to add another color but I'm going to use the magic knot so I don't have to worry about doing too many ends put these stitches back in here and then I want to chain one and turn all right so what we're going to do is we are going to um, in this first one here we're just going to put two single crochets in that first one all right and then we're going to put one single crochet and all the rest across And in this last one, we're going to put two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets in that last stitch. Now, as we're going down the side of this, 
we're going to put two single crochets because these are double crochets. You're just going to put two single crochets around these doubles. I think Yeah, be 22. Um, so not counting the corners, we're going to have 22 in between. So there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and we could put on this last three, we could put three in there. We're going to make 22 single crochets. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 21. No, there's 20, 22. That, that makes 22 actually. All right. All right, so we're putting two, two. So what what we're doing is you're, um, you know, we're trying to make the sides all the same. I did it right. Okay, so this last stitch right here, again, two double cr single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets. And you're going to continue like that around at, and um, as you're you're finishing up because your corners is two double cr two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets. So continue that, finish up your square, continuing that. And um, then we will be right back. All right. All right, so there's where we are at next. So the next thing that we're going to do... need some stitch markers. You need four of them. Four stitch markers. And we're going to take them and put them in the corners. Because this next round, we're going to be skipping corners. And you want to be able to find them. Alright, so here we go. Now that we've got our stitch markers in the corners, we're going to... We're going to slip stitch into the first uh, uh, front loop of every single crochet. So we're going to slip stitch. And then you want to make sure that these are loose slip stitches. And if your slip stitches are tight, you may want to go up a hook size. Just in the front loop of these single crochets.
All right, so then when you get to the corner here, we're going to skip over that corner, and right after the corner, you're going to continue in the front loop of the stitches. So we're just going to go around, and you're going to continue, and you're going to do that all the way around. And then you're going to slip stitch in the very first one that you made. So I will be back after this round is done. So I'll see you then. Okay, so now um, I have slip stitched to the very first one. We're all the way around. And we're going to pull up this corner. I'm going to take this out and put my needle in there. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do in this corner is we're going to put three single crochets in there. And then you're going to pull these slip stitches forward and find the back loop. And we're going to put a single crochet in the back loops. So in all the back loops that we didn't work, we're just going to put single crochets in there. All right, and when you get to the corner, you put your needle in there and pull out that stitch marker. And we're going to put three double cro single crochets, single crochets in the corner, and then we're going to continue along in the back loops, and we're going to do that all the way around. And so this concludes this square, and um, I. Um, I hope you had a lot of fun doing the square. I like this square, actually. Um, so, um, thank you for uh, watching. Have a great day, and bye-bye now.